why do people find ignorance more comfortable and easy so people are lazy because knowledge takes a lot of effort a lot of intelligence and that is hard work to think to cultivate the skills and the abilities to know and people don't want that people want to be lazy whatever is told okay it's fine it is it is the final truth your mother told you something yes yes finally it, i got the truth from nobody else no one else ex- other than my mother and so everybody fills you with garbage as you grow up and as soon as you are adult you uh, you have converted from a human to a donkey thanks to the society lack of critical thinking believing simply believing or disbelieving the guru another common thing you see i will believe everything else including tv and the politicians and the military but no guru gurus always lie so this is the condition of our society is knowing the truth optional is knowing the truth optional optional means you know what that you can live your life perfectly normally without knowing the truth for most of my life was lived without knowing the truth actually can we call it optional for a seeker yes there is nothing else to do it's not optional you cannot live their life without knowing the truth there are some people for whom it is okay okay to not know and they will live their life comfortably because all of your life is illusion so it only needs the illusion it does not need the truth or you can say it needs the relative truth the transactional truth so if you take the truth has that which uh, does not change in everyday life then it is not optional you see everybody needs to know at least some amount of truth even in, in the transactional sense everybody is walking towards the truth slowly or quickly it doesn't matter so we leave it okay they are also coming we say they are far behind but they are coming where is the experiencer when it is not manifesting in the world so one thing that the question is wrong this problem in the question it is saying it is saying two things that are wrong first it is asking whereabouts of the experiencer experiencer has no place non local then it is also saying that when it is manifesting in the world look it is not manifesting in the world world is an illusion it cannot found the experiencer in the illusion actually we do the opposite we remove all the experiences of the world body etc to arrive at the experiencer so it is not manifested the unmanifested is me nirgun without qualities cannot manifest so there were two problems in the question actually it was a double bouncer double trouble i am not in the world no question of where now i am not of the world the world is in me all the manifestation is within me this is the sweet and short answer can the true nature be known before knowing the illusion did you come to know about your true nature before knowing that everything is illusion or you had to first you know somebody had to convince you that look everything is illusion only then you came to know about your true nature what happened in your life who am i can this not be known when people say no it cannot be known it cannot be experienced directly you see there is no direct experience of the self or the experiencer so this this can be achieved without going into the details of the illusion this can be achieved without bringing in the definition of true and false we simply assume that the world and the bodies are true but we can still remove them from the essence non essential then in the second step we can find out that the non essential is not constant it is changing forms and names created by the mind and so then we come to know it is an illusion what is the last knowledge what is it that once it is known everything is known we do talk about self realization as if it is knowledge it is when people are saying that you know it cannot be known that means that you know cannot be known through senses or int- intellect or things like that the self will never be known as an experience you cannot experience it 
you are the one who is who experiences everything you are the experiencer if it can be experienced it is not you it is pure being this is the knowledge i am happy with this knowledge actually so there seems to be a little confusion about the word known known knowing and known so when the word known is used in the, in the for formal way organizations of the experiences in the memory that is the knowledge then yes the experiencer is never organized in the memory it is not to be found in the memory it is the witness of the memories so in this way there is no knowledge of it but self realization is an organization in the memory what is the what is the organization consists of not this not that negative knowledge and knowing this remembering this will be called awareness in our terminology the difference is very tiny you see very subtle try to grasp the subtleness of it you can easily call self realization as one kind of knowledge you know negative knowledge but uh, you cannot say that the experiencer is known directly there there needs to be a little bit of discrimination there it is very tiny this can be known that the experiencer cannot be known <laughs> that is what i call negative knowledge it cannot be found in the world it cannot be found in the body it has no shape no size all negative but still it is knowledge you see yes the experiencer does not make a direct impression in the memory this color that sound no that kind of knowledge will never be found not an object no objective knowledge when the illusion is given first what will happen to the seeker and that that depends on their constitution actually and this is my experience in the field of teaching at the way then the path of knowledge and then it is sometimes harmful if people are told that your life is a lie it is fake your body is fake your relations are garbage whatever you think about yourself and about others totally cooked up stuff obviously they will be depressed they won't like it they will hate their guru there are some people like this and they laugh at these people who call the world as illusion when they see the suffering and the issues in the society and their own condition is of suffering so they you cannot accept the suffering as an illusion it is even considered unethical that one guru is sitting there and laughing at the suffering look a play a drama a dream and they then attack the guru by saying that look <laughs> if you were starving if you were getting killed if you are getting abused then you will come to know it is real so to avoid this kind of disaster we provide the self knowledge first once this base is made then uh, you know telling that the experience is the illusion does not have any bad effect on the mind at least this is my opinion that is how the program is designed you must have seen then we actually remove all doubts by saying that in the illusion the illusion works the truth won't won't work in the illusion in the illusion in the play only the script works you cannot show the camera in the movie you see like this say the illusion breaks <laughs> only the special effects explosions they work there nicely so play the play fully knowing that it is a play you suffer the suffering and love your friends and kill your enemies is all fine now know what you are then this makes in the non dual knowledge acceptable for an average seeker there are some special seekers and for them perfectly okay that everything is a lie actually they laugh at it they, they are released by this knowledge they are liberated finally i don't need to worry about anything they say finally i don't need to worry about death and disease and disability and all this the major sufferings of a human being I don't know who I am, but you know it's all fake, so no problem at all. Then they go ahead and explore the illusion. They are called tantrics. They love it actually. They become lovers of the Devi, not bothering about who am I. Now, it has some side effects, but it's okay. Depends on how much impurity you have, how much attachments you have to this illusion. If there are too many impurities, too many attachments. then telling that everything is illusion has a bad effect so we send them away go and do something yoga or something you see chant the mantras and sing the bhajan then come back after 20 years i tell them self knowledge 
very easy very easy no side effects at all except in few people how can a seeker experience oneness how to experience oneness oneness is not an experience you see otherwise it would also come and go it can also change one people can have one person can have it other may not have it but oneness is the nature of the existence it is one you cannot have anything else except oneness and if it is experienced it will become two it will be divided into two that is what is happening the existence is trying to know what i am uh, am i and in the process ends up dividing itself because it cannot be seen as a whole still it can be known as a whole and you can be that you can be the one how to do that you are already it just remove your ignorance that i am not the one how to remove the ignorance path of knowledge ego ek state you look at it the person is hopelessly dependent on something somebody something means trying to survive you see ego in security obviously egoic survival emotional attachment now some people will say is higher no it's not higher emotional support is higher when you support somebody emotionally that is pity compassion kindness am i right <laughs> emotional dependency is emotional attachment is lower again ego it wants something demanding nature give me this because i love you is this love love is giving not demanding not taking so the egoic love has demands conditions the selfless love is unconditional no demands actually we are, we are happy to fulfill demands of the others we fulfill the desires of other so the real love the unconditional love is non egoic selfless not demanding serving surrender peace fearless not in security so yes a full book can be written like this you see it will sell very nicely because this is the biggest problem in the world after money <laughs> nobody gets the love because they don't know how to love even those who get the money they don't know how to love they love only money and they try to buy the love with money very very dark situation here ignorance which state offers unlimited experience unlimited experience no state offers unlimited experience why we ca- cannot have unlimited experience recall the metaphor of the pinhole camera if the hole is made larger and ar- larger the experience disappears actually the meaningfulness in the experience disappears it gets all the vibrations it must be limited to something to be meaningful when it is done sequentially it goes cyclic actually there is the, the experience is not linear it is in cycles so the states change actually you can say the the reason for state change is so that we can sample each and every kind of experience you can say the brahman is a genius engineer he saw that one state can be very very limited because of the limitations of the experiences so what he did he designed it you know don't take my words so literally you know i'm just story only so he designed the equipment redesigned the equipment body mind machine so that they can change states from 9 to 12 you get the waking state experiences limited but you get it in the dream then the projected then the sleep then whatever death and birth it all goes cyclically forever and because it is forever ultimately you experience everything by you i mean the brahman nobody is there to experience anything except the brahman except the experiencer existence itself is the experiencer actually i won't even call it randomness because there is order also in existence the whole has both randomness and order both structure and non structure it is not purely randomness actually it will look like randomness to our limited mind our limited intellect we won't be able to make sense of anything like it is like playing 100 songs at one time playing 100 songs simultaneously they, they, each song in itself is ordered it is beautiful when played alone the song is a piece of art music when every everything is played at once it is not that the order has the beauty has disappeared no 
our intellect cannot now recognize anything there there are many limitations and to overcome these limitations the experience has been spread out einstein said the time exists so that we can avoid everything happening at once he was joking obviously he knew there is no time so he said why is there the illusion then <laughs> because if everything happens at once there's no meaning in that so the film has been spread out one frame at a time how beautiful that is you see we think i am limited but this limitedness gives us meaning now you know the answer to the question why do we take limited forms why will brahman take limited forms i know there is no why and how but this poetically we like this answer that there is no other way to experience itself in pieces 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 and therefore everything has been turned into pieces the non duality is lost in the jungle of multiplicity so we go reverse and we combine everything that is the path of knowledge yoga 